Yo, what are you lot saying? It's your boy Jeff Boy here, and today what I've got for you is a Top Gear review for you guys, at Season 23, Episode 1 of the series. Now, this is a one-off uh, review that I'm doing for you guys because uh, this is a new age for Top Gear, new presenters, new studios, uh, new cars, new that kind of stuff, so uh, yeah, of course, it's a new era for the host, you know, I want to... Uh, get my first thoughts on this brand new take of Top Gear. So, right off the bat, um, it started off with this ACR uh, test drive from Chris Evans. It was quite good, I enjoyed that. The first part was quite good, but then once they had the Z06 and they had that little chase going on between Sabine Schmidt and uh, Chris Evans and the Top Gun pilots, I felt like it was a bit too long, to be honest. It dragged a little bit, to be honest. So. Yeah, it was good. I liked it. I enjoyed like some of the the chases of it. It was quite enjoyable, but I, you know, I just felt like it, it dragged on a bit too much to be honest. I mean, if they were going to do it properly, I would say you know maybe do a test of the uh, Z06 as well, and then maybe do that as the last thing in, in like for about five minutes or so. But yeah, it kind of dragged on a little bit with that chase scene too. So yeah, what was also funny at the end of the uh, car chase thing was a. Uh, been actually um, making the guy puke. I was, I was actually like that to be honest. That was quite funny to be honest. Um, so overall, I guess the uh, chase was quite good. It, was, it dragged on, but it was the the review of the ACL, the new vibe of ACL was quite good. Then after that, we had the uh, UK versus US thing, where both Matt LeBlanc and uh, Chris Evans both driving sort of these like reliant robin cars went from London to Bright uh, Blackpool. Um, so yeah, they did that. It was quite good, but it was quite boring to us. Nothing much really happened. There was no added drama in there to make it exciting. It was just them going to Blackpool and that was it, to be honest. And then afterwards we had um, uh, the star and reasoning price card, which was uh, Jesse Eisenberg from Gordon Ramsay. I didn't really get the two, to be honest. Jesse, I know from the hype of Batman v Superman that happened just a couple of months ago. And then, of course, Gordon Ramsay, who I didn't know what he was doing, uh, what he was planning to do. Apparently, he was going to do this like, little football charity thing, which I thought was quite good of him. Uh, but yeah, apparently Jesse had this new film, Gordon had this new thing. I just didn't really get the vibe of it. I didn't get the chemistry of both of them. I just felt like they were two random guys who just went on just for the fun of it, I don't know. But it just didn't feel right, the star and Rosemary Price car, to be honest. And it would have been nice as well if they had this like, little barbecue, because they had a new car, they had a new track, and I'm thinking, okay, why not have a little party so, so we can get some time to the board like they did in the olden day. But they actually didn't, no, they had two guests. And they talked for a little bit, and they did their acts, and that was pretty much it. So, yeah, like I said, it was really nice it, because it was a new car, it was a new track that um, that we would have had, you know, uh, some people come down, some celebrities come down like we had in the past, and then them setting some time. So, yeah, a bit lackluster that one, but um, so it was all right. So we had a new car, like I was saying, uh, the Mini Cooper. Uh, I actually generally like the car, uh, one of my favourite cars that way, so yeah, um, but we also, that wasn't the main thing, we had a new track that I was talking earlier about, and that was the Rallycross track, so uh, instead of the, uh, the Star and Reason Price car uh, going around the, uh, the normal Top Gear circuit, no, they would actually go through the Rallycross section, so that was quite good, it would be nice, you know, um, if uh, maybe one day we can have a couple of laps where uh, the actual stick goes around the rally car section, I'm just saying that'd be really cool. So say if, if there was a rally car that they were testing or something like that, they could actually put it around the rally car section so that we could have like a separate lap time board for the rally cars, and then maybe another for the uh, the the power like the supercars that are going around the normal circuit. So I'm just saying that's a that would be a re that's a really good circuit that they made up and. That would make for really good uh, things that they could do uh, for the series, you know, and maybe the future series as well to come as well. So, a lot of potential, a lot of uh, a lot of ideas that could be a, that could be done for this uh, new Rallycross section. I really like it. You know, it's really good. It's enjoyable. Uh, there's a lot of good sections in there. There's um, jumps in there. There's a couple of water sections in there, and also it's been designed. By Liam Duran, a former, a no, not former, a current rallycross driver. That is awesome. So you know they've done it right when they've uh, recruited a, 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 a world rallycross driver. So that's cool. And 
then uh, Matt LeBlanc uh, does a segment with the Aerial Nomad, which is like this little uh, area atom, but this time as a rally version. And I actually like that car, it's really, really good, it's quite agile. Um, yeah, it's really good. Um, I thought that segment was quite good, to be honest. I mean, Matt did a really good job uh, analysing and really testing out the car, seeing what it was like. So, uh, yeah, a really good job by Matt LeBlanc. And in the end there, with that uh, ch uh, chase thing going on between the, uh, between the paparazzi and himself, that was quite enjoyable to us. I definitely enjoyed that. So, yeah, that was good. That was really good. That was one of the high points, I've got to say, for the whole entire episode, that little uh, chase between the paparazzi and uh, Matt LeBlanc, of course. And then for the final segment, we had this uh, UK versus USA thing continuing on. Uh, they actually raced in a Jeep and a Land Rover. So UK had a, G a Land Rover and, and uh, Matt LeBlanc, who was American, had the uh, Jeep. So that was quite cool. They did a couple of speed tests, they did tug of war. They had this one little uh, weird like race that they did. Uh, it was basically a drag race. But um, they would have to hitch up to a car, I believe it was. Uh, no, a van, an ice cream van. Pull it out of the water. Uh, then drive to uh, a couple of drag queens, pick them up and drive to the finish. It was quite good. I actually generally enjoyed that race. It was it was quite uh, hilarious and quite uh, funny. So yeah, um, of course Matt won uh, due to the uh, insane power advantage of that Jeep. So yeah, it was. Uh, but anyway, so that was still a great little challenge. And then to cap it off, uh, both Matt and Chris had to race. Uh, both the Land Rovers and Jeeps and the Reliant Robins that they had earlier up the mountain, up this like one little mountain in the Lake District. So yeah, that was quite enjoyable. Uh, Matt had uh, this uh, like little big fella that um, who was from America who helped uh, Matt LeBlanc in the race. And uh, Chris Evans had uh, a couple of like these Olympic stars. I'm not entirely sure who they were, but uh, they, they said they were these like Olympic stars to be honest. So. That was awesome, I enjoyed that. Um, yeah, the whole entire challenge part was awesome. That whole entire like race was good because, um, you know, uh, because it was so funny, it was so enjoyable. It really showcased uh, what the uh, guys had to do to get up that hill. You know, I don't know, it was just quite enjoyable. I actually genuinely liked that segment, to be honest. And uh, it wasn't one of my favorites. Of course, it was the Aero Nova that did it for me, but. It was just that. It was just that segment that was up there as one of the best of the episode, to be honest. So it was really, really good. And uh, in the end, uh, Chris Evans won, but he kind of cheated, to be honest, because uh, he kind of rolled the uh, Reliant Robin uh, out of the way so that he would uh, carry it for the rest of the remainder of the uh, run, because it was kind of there as uh, kind of there as sort of. It was kind of just. It was kind of a bit annoying. It was there as annoyance to. Uh, the team, so they just got rid of it, and uh, just to prove, just to sort of uh, make sure it was fair, they uh, grabbed one of the doors of the right and just uh, put it on uh, their on their uh, defender and just drove up to the top. Uh, whilst uh, Matt actually did it properly and uh, got the thing up to the top, so yeah, but he had a bit of trouble, but then uh, Chris and the boys they got it up and uh, yeah, it was all good. Overall, that uh, part was really really good. I enjoyed that part. It was uh, nice to see. Um, a sort of UK versus USA thing because Matt's from the US and uh, Chris is from the UK so I thought it would be it made sense to do that to be honest um, it was quite funny, it was quite enjoyable and loved that, that part Second part, the first part wasn't that good but the second part was good so uh, yeah it was a really really enjoyable uh, challenge and then to cap things off we had Extra Gear which is a new behind the scenes version of uh, Top Gear which goes deep into uh, the uh, deep into Top Gear so um, it was hosted by both Rory Reid who is from Far Furious and funny. Um, so if you, if you if you don't know that channel, go check them out. I'll put the link down below. Really go check their channel out. It's really good. It's kind of like Top Gear, but it's really funny. It's really good. Um, they ha and they also had Chris Harris, which I genuinely liked. I genuinely thought that Chris should have been the main host for Top Gear because Chris Harris, we've all know who he is. You know, he does a lot of car reviews. He knows his stuff really really well. He's been a, he, he's been doing that for a while. And he's really, really good at this. I've seen a couple of his videos. Go check him out. Link is down below. I mean, he's just a he's just a true petrol head. And uh, I would have loved it if it was just him and maybe Matt LeBlanc as well. You know, it would have really made for a more entertaining episode. But it was nice to see Chris and Matt. To be honest, it was it did, it generally did make it for it did make it a really good episode. To be honest, the, their chemistry was quite good.
In this, uh, this episode day, we're delving into Shabin Smith, the new host of Top Gear. Um, I enjoyed that to be honest. Um, I, just, I enjoyed you know, having a look at Shabin Smith's life. You know, Shabin's a new host, nobody's known her. So it was nice that Top Extra Gear went to that uh, length to uh, find out who she was so that everyone knows that who she is, you know. She's she's good. I mean, Sabine in this episode, she didn't really play much of a factor in this, but she did play a lot in the extra gear in terms of uh, showcasing Rory Reed, you know, her life and that kind of stuff. Um, by the way, if you don't know who Sabine Schmitz is, she is the Queen of the Ring, as a lot of people know her for. Uh, she's raced in Nervy Ring quite a lot. Um, she's done a lot of endurance racing, including the Nervy Ring 24 Hours. I mean, um, she loves Porsches. She's a true petrohead. She's a really true petrohead and a professional racing driver as well. So, yeah, it was nice having her on the show. You know, it's nice having her in with. It, it's nice having her in the cast. You know, it really makes for more entertaining and maybe even uh, in, in really sort of good episodes and good test if she does do a lot of tests. To be honest, so yeah. And then afterwards, the special guest for that show was uh, Chris Ramsey, but he didn't do a lap, which was quite weird for us. I would love to see Chris Ramsey uh, do a lap on that because uh, he was a star in that show, and I would love to have seen uh, them actually uh, putting Chris uh, through the lap there. But uh, no, it was actually Gordon and Jesse Eisenberg who actually were the ones who actually did it. Um, it was such a shame to us. I really would love to have seen Chris uh, get on the track and see what he'd done. So uh, yeah, and if he would have done, uh, if he would have gotten uh, did the lap, I would reckon. He would have been like in between Gordon Ramsay and um, and Jesse Eisenberg to be honest. So yeah, that's my opinion. So yeah, but it was good to have him on the show. But like I said, it sucked that he didn't do a lap in the recently priced car. Overall, it was a very, very good Top Gear episode. Um, one or two parts weren't good, but the rest of it was really, really good. Extra Gear was good, but I just felt like uh, it was a good show in terms of the studio. But uh, it wasn't good in terms of um, the star and the recent price card because I really wanted to actually uh, see uh, Chris actually go on the track and uh, do a lap in the uh, run, across, uh, run across track to be honest. So it was a bit of a, a shame for that but at least we got a really good show. It was nice and in depth. Uh, a lot behind the scenes on how Top Gear was run, that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, really, really good episode. And in terms of my rating, I'm gonna say I'm gonna give it a eight out of ten. A reasonable sight, to be honest. Uh, it's not as good as the three. I don't think it'll ever be good for a while, but it's a really, really good start. It's a really, really good start. And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, comment below what you thought about the new Top Gear episode. Do you like it? Do you enjoy it? Uh, what do you think about the new host in the show? What do you think about Extra Gear as well? Do you like the new format of Top Gear and Extra Gear as well? Comment below, let me know what you thought about it and uh, yeah, uh, subscribe if you new, like if you enjoyed it and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.